Whoa, love it. So, this is Queen Christina Davidovich, and you have already seen her, right? She was amazing uh, today, and this is me, and we're coming here, and we came. So, that the guy there, so the laugh, not that. So, we just, you know, I was walking here from Serbia. She was flying, of course, because she has special skill. And of course, not just a special skill, but also a dragon, right? And this is how she comes back. <laughs> and I'm waiting for her. And while I was waiting, you know, a patient of mine came and said, Listen, doctor, you know, I know that you can do something for me, so please, I have this nasty wrinkles around my eyes. So, could you help me? I said, Yeah, why not? You know, but how old is this guy, right? You know, by the point of the skin, maybe 20, right? But, you know, by the size of the wrinkles, oh, 50. But actually, it's somewhere, somewhere in between, so it's about 40. And then, you know, as somebody would say, you know, at that area, botulinum toxin would be the best. So, you know, I injected botulinum toxin, and I, you know, at the injection point that we already would probably inject, and then, you know, he came to me like 20 days after and said, listen, I really like the uh, result here, but, you know, I have these nasty wrinkles here, and I don't know, I don't like it, do you? I said, yeah, you know, I would definitely not like them. So let's do something else. You know, when I started injecting, I would definitely inject a lot of hyaluronic fillers there. So what I do, so I take a needle, no, 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 just kidding, a cannula. So I'm injecting it there with the cannula, right? So I put a lot of filler, and of course, if I inject it with the needle, I can have a little bit of bruising. This is supposed to be blood. But of course, if I don't do it in a proper layer, so if I don't do it, you know, below the muscle, but above the muscle, um, above the muscle I can have something blue because we already have seen that at that point the skin is so thin that it is see-through and the muscle is right below. So what I can do is actually I can make a little blue guy, right? Meaning the Tyndall effect from, of course, we all know this lovely movie. But the point is, what the man get to do to get a decent reaction here? So actually what, what I did was, actually did a botulinum toxin before, because I really need not to move these muscles while I do something else. So the main area here is to call again Christina with, his, with her dragon, and she said, Dracarys. Right? And when she says the car is, so I'm gonna burn this guy pretty much alive. But of course with fennel, not with actual, you know, fire, with fennel. And some little croton oil. A croton oil, it is from the plant of croton, and it's lovely. You know, probably a lot of you already has it in their, you know, houses, but you don't even know it. But it's she, it's a lot of fennel, a little bit of cotton oil, and I burn. Christina does it as well. So this is King's Landing, of course, from the Dubrovnik, as everybody knows. You know, and she burns people. I do it too, but with fennel and cotton oil, okay? So this is the burnt guy. Of course, we don't want him to walk around like that. So I make it a little bit even worse. So I put bismuth sugalate, which is just a substance that will, you know, keep him out of social, you know, of course. You know, he's not going to come to you or anybody else. You know, if he goes like this, you know, on the street, you know, all the, uh, the kids, small kids, you know, and the dog, they will be afraid of him. So actually, I, I advise them to stay at home for seven days. So for seven days, he didn't look like this two-faced guy. This is, you know, for anybody that knows about uh, Batman, this is his super villain, 
And of course, not Michael Caine, but this was created by Caine, Bob Caine, just like a little bit of trivia. So this is the guy, actually nine days after. So you can see here that the wrinkles are gone, that the skin looks much better, and this is only after nine days. After six months, he will be like completely like, uh, like he did a lot of uh, biostimulation, some devices, and so on. So only with a little bit injection with botulinum toxin, a little bit of chemical peel on top of it, you can, get, you can have a great result. This is another girl, okay, right? We can do a uh, botulinum toxin there, but if she has a lot of uh, wrinkles, maybe we could not achieve. Of course, if we have such, a, such an elderly patient, not even then. So we have to combine the treatments, we have to volumize the patients, then add botulinum toxin not to move too much, and then we have really to think about that superficial organ that we talk so much about. It. But as we all know, botulinum toxin is done in the muscles. Uh, Hyaluronic fillers are not dermal fillers like they used to be, they are soft tissue fillers. But we still have to think about the skin because this is actually what we see. So this is another patient. We have a lot of wrinkles there. And if we do a chemical peel there, but of course with botulinum toxin, because if we don't do botulinum toxin before, the results are not going to be either good or long lasting. And also, if a patient comes to you and says, and asks, how long will I have a result? Well, if you don't do a botulinum toxin after those treatments, not that much. But if you do it regularly, the results can last from three to five, even more years. So, even not a surgery in this area can do this, of course. If a patient has a lot of dermatochalasia, I would definitely, you know, uh, advise the patient to go to a plastic surgeon for a blood thromboplasty, but in another way, when the patient has a lot of wrinkles just like this, please come to me or to any other doctor that has uh, experience in treating the patients with the chemical peel, because not only the area around the eyes can be done like that. So if you have a patient like this, what else you can do? Of course, you can do a CO2 laser, but not everybody can afford CO2 laser. But if you're doing it with a chemical peel, that's a cheap option that always gives marvelous results. And also the downtime, although they can definitely watch all the seasons of Game of Thrones in those seven days that are, they are at home. But after that, either seven, eight uh, days maximum, they are completely able to function and have a great result. So the moral of the story is, when you have an appropriate patient, the biggest uh, idea here is to combine botulinum toxin so they don't move the muscles, so the skin is not going to wrinkle, and then, of course, completely resurface the skin. And when you're doing it with a deep phenol peel, then you have the results for a very, very long time. Of course, in some patients, there's nothing you can do. So for those kind of patients, I have, when I was in Switzerland, they had these anti-aging prolines. So the recipe goes, Alex, anti-aging prolines, and then, if nothing else helps, take as much as you want. Thank you so much.